All right, today's video is going to cover uh, running a SQL query out of SQL Server, uh, all within a SSIS package. We're going to build a uh, kind of an automated way to query a particular table in SQL Server, export that data into a flat file, and automate the name of that file through a couple of variables and a connection string within Visual Studio SQL Server Data Tools 2015. All right, let's get started. So I'm using the Business Intelligence. Uh, SQL Server Data Tools 2015. We're going to click on New Project, Integration Services Project. Let's go ahead and name this File Export. And then we'll hit OK. Oh, yeah, we already have a project, something similar. We'll do Test. Hit OK. All right, we're going to use a data flow task. All right. Um, double click on the data flow task. Now we need to know where the data is coming from. So we're going to choose OLE DB source under our other sources. We're going to double click on this. Uh, now we need to create a connection manager. Uh, this is going to connect to the SQL server. I already have a connection here, but you would ch uh, choose new and put your server name here. And then once you populate that, you'll choose what database you need. And then you should be good to go. I'll hit OK, because that's the server I want. Uh, you can either hit directly from a table and export. You can dump a bunch of data into a temp table. And that temp table will appear here as well if you are if you chose that in the database selection. Uh, but what we're going to do today is uh, run a SQL query. I'm going to use SQL command. I am hitting a SQL server table like this. And what I'm going to do uh, for the purpose of this, I'm going to delete this. For the purpose of uh, the next step, I'm going to go ahead and run this as results the file. We're going to hit execute. We're going to save this file as let's just do you know, 2018 underscore flat file dot txt. What this is going to do is it's going to serve as a, a template or a, um, for the next step. Um, because it'll give us our column headers, the column columns itself, and some sample data. All right, that, that file exists. It's saved there. And now we'll go into, uh, let's see, go back into our SQL or Visual Studio SSIS. And now we're going to build a query. I'm going to say, whoops, select top 100 from my database.schema.table. Let's parse this. Looks good. We'll hit, um, just make sure the columns look okay. Yeah, it's just four columns. All right, we'll hit okay. Uh, the next step in this process will be to get a destination, like where are we sending the data? So we want it to be in a flat file. So we're gonna use flat file destination. Go ahead and link this together. And now what we need is a flat file connection. Uh, so once you double click on the destination task, we're going to hit uh, new. We're going to choose delimited. All right. We're going to browse to that file. We'll hit open. All right. Everything looks good there. Uh, we're going to click on columns over here to the left. And we're going to choose pipe, or vert pipe delimited or vertical bar. We'll hit refresh and you can see the data flows flowing through. We'll hit OK. And our mappings look good. All right, we'll hit OK. All right, let's see what this is saying. Reason code. All right, all right, we'll, we'll, get, we'll, we'll figure that out. Um, so let's uh, right click on the properties of our flat file connection manager. Let me bring some of this over to you so you guys can see. Um, here, go properties, connection manager. There we go. Um, by default, I typically, uh, let's see what we got going on over here. Column names, first data row. All right. What we want to do is... Uh, I want to bring my variables up. We're going to create two variables. One we're going to call uh, source folder. We're going to make this a string. And this is going to be 
uh, where the file is going to get placed. I already have these kind of pre-written out. So we're going to put these in an expression. I'll paste that in. This is my directory. Uh, we'll evaluate. Oh, one second. Let's see. Oh, yep. We need a. We need two slashes. Evaluate. All right. Looking good. Now we need our second variable, which is going to be the file name itself. Uh, so we'll just call this file name. Make this a string. Let's grab this second piece. And this is, if you want to, you can pause it, but this will, I'm gonna evaluate it for you. And basically it's going to be YY, like a year, month, day, uh, date format, underscore, whatever name you want to put. I put flat file dot txt. Uh, Sure that's still good and we'll hit okay all right now what we want to do is we want to go over to our expressions in the um flat file manager and let's get rid of this we want to put our source folder plus um what is it slash slash plus oh we need to double quotes file name all right i see i see uh, there's an extra slash here so what i need to do is go back down here in my uh source folder and take out this this trailing slash since we're going to add it there we'll hit okay all right, now let's go over to the expression one more time. Um, properties. Oh, yep, we were in the wrong spot. Okay. Um, property, we need a connection string. <coughs> and then we're going to build this. Let's do oh, same thing we were just doing before. So what I did, just to re-clarify, cancel, I am click, uh, doing the flat file connection manager properties and I'm creating an expression there, just so you know. So I click on flat file connection manager over to the right under properties. Um, I will click on the dot, dot, dot on expressions. We'll choose connection string. Now we need to rebuild this source folder. Uh, plus quotes slash slash quotes plus file name. Evaluate this. And ah, <laughs> okay. I see what happened. All right. Um, I was in the wrong window. So let's uh, let's get rid of this. We need to go back here and grab our file name. Put it right here. Evaluate. Click OK. Let's go back to our expression on the flat file connection, and it's looking good. Uh, cancel. Connection string. Oh, I was, I was clicking on the wrong thing. Here we go. All right. And you can see evaluate, and we got our flat file. And basically, what this is going to do is every day that this, if you were to, to schedule this in a SQL Server job, every day the name of the file would be to the day that it ran. Okay, all right. Let's uh, let's see what errors kicking out over here for this. Reason code, reason code. Okay. Um, destination flat file. Let's go ahead and run this. Flat file, gotcha. Okay, all right. Um, date. So let's change this to code page twelve fifty two. Okay, and now we'll run it, and it's successful. Let's go check our. Um, folder and looks like there you go.
there's today's date. Let's open the file. The file, yeah, there it is. All right, so if you have any questions or comments, I know this was sort of a quick approach to doing this. Uh, you know, Leave those down in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to this video, like it, and uh, thanks for watching the video. Have a great day.